DBPs are problematic because they have been linked to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Chlorine isn't the only disinfectant at fault. All chemical disinfection treatments typically generate some type of byproduct. The most common DBPs form when disinfectants interact with natural organic matter in the source water, decomposing vegetation, for example. Several other factors also influence disinfection byproduct formation and composition, such as the point of disinfectant application, disinfectant contact time, disinfectant dosage, the age, pH, and temperature of the water, and the type of disinfectant. The discovery of disinfection byproducts and other emerging water issues led to the creation of the U.S. Safe Drinking Water Act in 1974. The Safe Drinking Water Act requires the EPA to set national health-based standards for drinking water to protect against both naturally occurring and man-made contaminants. It was in the late 1990s that amendments to the Safe Drinking Water Act required the EPA to develop a regulation to balance the risks between the presence of microbial pathogens and DBPs. The result was the Stage 1 rule for disinfectants and disinfection byproducts abbreviated DBPR, finalized in 1998. According to the EPA, the rule establishes maximum residual disinfectant level goals and maximum residual disinfectant levels for three chemical disinfectants, chlorine, chloramine, and chlorine dioxide. It also establishes maximum contaminant level goals and maximum contaminant levels for total trihalomethanes, haloacetic acids, chlorite, and bromate. Additionally, the rule sets requirements for utilities under direct influence of surface water and that use conventional filtration to remove specified percentages of organic materials measured as total organic carbon, or TOC, from the source water. 